Hello children and welcome to this week's Sunday Club. Today we're going to be looking at the story of Jonah and a particular animal. Jonah was a man sent to a wicked land called Nineveh to tell them of God's love. When Jonah heard God's voice, he made a selfish choice to run away on a ship he sailed away. Then a storm arose and crew freaked out. They wondered what this all is about. Jonah confessed his sin and asked them to throw him overboard. Then Lord sent a giant fish to swallow Jonah as a dish and there he stayed three long stinky days. Jonah prayed to God as he had a change of heart and then that fish Speed Jonah out on dry land. Then the Lord told Jonah second time to preach against man's sin and crime, to tell the people of Nineveh that God is love and God is kind. Much to Jonah's chauvin, Nineveh turned from his sin and saw God's love. They saw God's saving love. Today we'll begin thinking about somebody you may have heard of called Jonah. Now, Jonah was a prophet, which is someone who God uses to talk to people. Often this was when God wanted to tell them that their bad behaviour would get them into real trouble. Unlike Noah, who we talked about last week, when Jonah heard from God, he didn't always obey straight away, as we shall see. He sometimes thought that he knew better than God, which is never a good thing, is it? Jonah was sitting under a tree and God said to him, Jonah? I want you to go to Nineveh. You must tell the people there to repent from their evil ways or I will destroy them. Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh. It was the main city of the Assyrian people who were very cruel and warlike and didn't like being told what to do. It wasn't that Jonah was afraid. He just didn't think that God was right to offer the people of Nineveh a chance of forgiveness. So Jonah decided to go in the opposite direction Nineveh was this way Jonah decided to go this way so he went and he bought a t went and got a ticket and got on a ship that was going to Tashish and, and when he got in the boat he sat down he got his space he sat down he made himself comfortable and the boat started going in the sh on the water and it was going boppity 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 and the storm got harder and harder and it was going up and down up and, down, and tossing people up and tossing people down they were falling back sideways and backwards and forwards and they were so scared that the boat was going to capsize and they were all going to drown and die the captain told all the crew and passengers to pray to their gods everyone prayed except for Jonah who was still asleep the captain woke him up and told him to pray as well. Still the storm raged. The sailors tried to decide who was responsible for the terrible storm. So they cut up some straws and everyone took a straw. They said, whoever has the shortest straw is responsible. And Jonah pulled the straw, sh short straw. 
What have you done? Who are you? cried the captain. I'm a Jew and I follow the Lord God. I've disobeyed him and that is why this storm is raging. You must throw me into the sea, Jonah explained. But the sailors didn't want to do this. Instead, they threw all their cargo overboard. But the storm became only worse. So reluctantly, they threw Jonah into the billowing waves. Just as he thought he was dying, a huge fish swam up, opened its huge door jaws and swallowed Jonah in one big gulp. And Jonah was in the fish's tummy. He was there for three whole days and three whole nights. Jonah was in the belly of the whale. And it was dark, it was slimy, it was sticky, it was yucky. And Jonah was so scared, he started praying. He said, God, forgive me, I'm sorry. I will go now and deliver your message. I'll do whatever you want me to do. Please, God, help me. So God said, okay, fish, go and speak Jonah out. And jo the fish swam to the shore and spat out Jonah back onto the land. God again asked Jonah to go to Nineveh, and this time he obeyed. He walked slowly to the city and went to follow God's orders. As a result, the people of Nineveh accepted God's forgiveness and changed from their wicked ways. Jonah had gone, to, had gone and sat in a corner under a nice tree waiting for the people of Nineveh to all die because they were horrible. But God forgave them because God knew that they were really sorry. Jonah got angry. God, why did you forgive this mean, horrible, nasty people? You're just gonna, they're just going to get more and more mean and more and more nasty. And God said to Jonah, look, it's me, God, I will forgive whom I choose to forgive. They were sorry, so I forgave them. And Jonah was sitting under a tree where he was resting. And God decided to teach Jonah a lesson and took the tree and made the leaves all fall off. And there was no more shade covering Jonah. And he got even more angry. Because God, even the tree that was protecting me from this hot sun, you have removed it. Why? And then you let the people of Nineveh, who were horrible and nasty and wicked and mean, to leave. But you took the tree that was protecting me. God said, the tree is mine. I decided to take it away so that you can see that I was the one who also gave you mercy to have the tree shade over you. And Jonah realized his mistake and said, God, I am sorry for you are truly a merciful God. Now, here's a couple of things for you to think about. What do you think the consequences of Jonah's action were? Were they good consequences or bad? Jonah had owned up to his responsibility, or he hadn't owned up to his responsibility, how much worse might the consequences have become? And how did God show Jonah mercy in this story? He also showed mercy to Nineveh, by the way. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. <laughs>
and then you're going to need to do the fins and the tail there we go and then you need to cut the well out you might want to get a, someone to help you do this a grown-up maybe probably cut it out a bit more carefully than I'm doing. Poor Jonah ending up inside a whale. I bet that wasn't very much fun and probably quite smelly. Then you cut down the middle of the whale and you want the colour of the whale in. So you can draw a stick man if you like. There's our Jonah. I think he's probably pretty sad because he's stuck inside a whale. What do you think, children? Once you've drawn your picture of Jonah, I've done one here already, you need to cut him out. And again, you'll have more time than me, so you can cut him out a bit more carefully. And then you can stick your Jonah on the back of the whale or just hold him on the back of the whale and then when you open the whale up there'll be poor old Jonah stuck inside the whale. There we go. Have a good week. Bye! Hello children, this is Auntie Carly. And Uncle Barry. And it's that time again when we have our little chat with our father up above. So grab a seat, if you're not already sitting, and let us pray. Father, we thank you for today's lesson, which reminds us of your love for all people, even those we struggle to love. Jonah wanted the people of Nineveh to be punished, but you gave them the chance to say sorry or the wrong things they did. We thank you, Lord, for a second chance. A second chance to come to you, talk to you, and ask for your forgiveness. Lord, help us to be obedient children. Amen. Amen. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's Sunday Club. See you next week. Bye.